chapter 13, Impro. Elfie belted past, that means ran and dashed past a sign that read, no running in the corridor. So, it says no running in the corridor, but he still ran. He was becoming breathless now. <gasps> And a sense of panic was descending on him. So he started panicking. How could he outrun a moped? How could he run faster than a moped? Even one with a very heavy load. That means even one that carries Winnie is someone who's very heavy. The noise of the bike's engine was becoming louder and louder. Winnie was getting closer and closer. Elfie tiptoed to the central staircase and hid behind the bal balustrade. Balustrade, you go and Google image, what is it? From high up on the third floor, he looked down to see where she was heading. Tuck, 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 ting. Along the bottom corridor was the little red robe moped. The social worker's leg was striked it. A striked it, that means one leg at this side and one leg the other side. The bike was advancing slowly, that means it was moving slowly. Winnie sandals skimming the floor as she peered into all the classrooms to see if she could spot her prey. You know what's a prey? Prey is like an animal that's being hunted. So, uh, Elfie is the prey, okay? And then Winnie is the one looking for the prey. Even from this height, Elfie could tell Winnie was fuming. Fuming and very angry. No one likes having to wait outside in the wind and rain. Now the social worker's face was curled up like she was chewing on a stinking nettle. Elfie kept Dave still for a moment, so he kept very still. Winnie might detect any sudden movement, so Winnie might, might discover sudden movement. Okay, so Winnie's trying, searching high and low for Elfie now, so Elfie had to stay very still. After a petrol up and down the lower corridor, so after searching up and down the corridor, the social worker stood up on her moped. She circled around the bottom of the stairs a few times to gain speed. Then suddenly, with a sharp twist of the throttle, throttle that means uh, throttle is Winnie's moped, sharp twist, so she suddenly turned, she mounted the first step. So she went onto the first step. Elfie leaped up from behind the balustrade. Baller Street, this one, this is the Baller Street. And so and as he did so, Winnie spotted him. So Winnie saw Elfie. Alfred! She shouted as the moped bounced up the stairs. Alfred, come back here, boy. Elfie was running, but he didn't know where to. He darted, that means he ran quickly down another corridor, bouncing off the walls as his legs carried him faster and his mind could direct him. The map of the school plotted drawn out. That means the map of the school was drawn out in his head from all that time trugging between lessons was now alerting him to something. He was reaching a dead end. A dead end, that means... That means a place that he cannot move anymore, a dead end. The hum of the moped's engine was getting louder. Now Elfie was at the end of a corridor, pinned against a large bank of lockers. Oh dear. Winnie had reached the top floor and was hurtling, hurtling that means moving very quickly and uncontrollably towards him. He leaped to his left. Done. The stupid language lab door was locked. Still, the moped was coming straight towards him. He leaped to the right and turned the handle. He put his weight against the door, so he put his whole body against the door and burst into the room. Elfie found himself in the middle of a drama class. And go with it! Impro! cried the teacher. Impro, that means improvise. Okay, later you'll see what is improvise. Mr. Snot taught drama. He was a bot. And be spectacle, that means he was spectacles man who always wore a black polo neck jumper, black jeans, and black shoes. So if he stood next to a black curtain in the assembly hall, it looked like there was a giant boiled egg floating through the air. So he wore all black, so it, his head looks like a giant boiled egg. His head looks like a giant boiled egg floating through the air. Snot li lived and breathed drama. Drama was his love. Drama was his life. Drama was his drama. Snot taught his subject with a ferocious sincerity. That means he taught the subjects wholeheartedly. He really loved the subject. Elfie found all that pretending to be a tree business in Snot's class acutely. So, Elfie found all that pretending, found all that acting in drama to be a 
to be a three business and snots class acutely acutely that means very embarrassing so Elfie doesn't like drama he thinks that acting is very embarrassing most of the pupils did just most of the pupils also thought that it was very embarrassing in fact as Elfie burst through the door all the kids were loitering in the middle of the classroom and were walking around in the middle of the classroom looking like they would rather be anywhere else than here so they would rather be somewhere else than be in this drama class they were reluctantly that means they don't want to they were reluctantly trying to improvise uh, improvise impro this word is that is the is a short form of improvise improvise that means performing or acting something without preparing okay or impro as not called it so improvise is also called impro you're improvising a scene based around the end of the world so you're acting a scene that is about the end of the world, okay? End of the world. This was always Snot's favorite starting point for any impro. The world ending. So this is his favorite scene, the world ending. A giant meteor. Meteor, you go and check out Google image, what is it? It's about to heat the earth. Impro is how the floating egg, the floating egg is Mr. Snot, right? Would start most of his classes. Then Snot would take his chair and spin it around rather dramatically, dramatically, that means exaggeratedly. With it facing the wrong way, he would sit with his short legs astride, astride, that means one side, one of his legs on one side of the chair and the, other, and the other legs on the other side of the chair. From there, the drama teacher would watch intently, that means watch very carefully, as his pupil shuffled, shuffled, that means hurried, to and flow mumbling something about a giant meteor hitting the earth but really just praying for an actual meteor to hit the earth to save them from the embarrassment so his pupils are actually acting about the end of the world where a giant meteor a giant meteor is actually a very very big rock from space it's hitting the earth but and then they are mumbling something to and fro like oh no it's a giant meteor it's a giant meteor so they're acting ma. but really they are just praying in their hearts for an actual meteor so they really hope that a real meteor will hit the earth because they want to be safe from this drama class save them from the embarrassment i said impro exclaimed snot i'm not doing drama today sir utter elfie so snot saw elfie and told elfie to impro to act then that doesn't matter boy announced mr snot in his deep rich voice it sounded as rich as chocolate mousse you have become part of the scene, so a giant meteor is about to hit the earth and wipe out all human, animal, and plant life. Impro! Um, said Elfie, he couldn't think of a single thing to say, but could hear the moped stuttering just outside the room. Impro! implored, that means bad Mr. Snot. Um, uh, um, bad news about the whole giant meteor thing hitting the earth, spluttered Elfie, but on the upside, the pizzas. The pizzas I ordered are here. So Elfie is acting like someone who uh someone who's delivering pizzas, I think. I don't know. But on the upside, so the good thing is that pizzas I ordered are here, so Elfie's trying to act also. Just then Winnie's moped crashed through the door. Even Snot looked a little taken aback, taken aback and is shocked at this. But with the improvisation growing by the moment, this was no time to stop. Impro! So he told Winnie to improvise to act also. What? replied Winnie, fixing Elfie in her sights as she skidded to a halt. So she stopped. Tell us what flavors of pizzas you have. So so Mr. Snot is 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 trying um trying to get Winnie to be the pizza delivery man so tell us what flavors of pizza you have exclaims Snoot. i ain't no pizza delivery service you fool i'm a social worker now class Snoot turned to his pupils what this lady has done here is anybody no she swapped roast midway through an impro as i have always said that's an impro no no so because over here right uh mr snot wants wants winnie to be the pizza delivery man but then winnie said i ain't no pizza delivery service so winnie said i'm not a pizza delivery man so what did she do she she swapped her role so she swapped her character midway okay and then mr snot said that is wrong that's an impro no no I am here to get this boy to the dentist, exclaimed Winnie. 
what I will say now, and I know the first rule of impro is anybody know never stop an impro because Winnie is trying to stop the improvisation. You want to take this boy to the dentist. So Mr. Snot say, no, don't stop an impro. Another impro, no, no. But I do feel passionately with what with a meteor hitting the earth and pizzas just having been delivered, which by the way was a very skillful piece of improing. Huge congrats, Alfie. You may well want your final meal to come with a free garlic bread. That adding a dentist appointment into the mix is just too much. I'm sorry, but it's an impro on an impro on an impro and as such is a huge impro. No, no. Winnie paused for a second. Her whole, bob, her whole body wobbling, that means shaking, as the moped engine reverberated. Ver, ver, yeah, that means vibrated. She fixed Mr. Snot with a steely stare, gaze. That means she's, she, she, she looked at Mr. Snot uh, fiercely. I don't know who you are, but please stop talking out of your bum bum. Then she turned her focus to Elfie. Now you get on this here moped at once. The boy stood motionless. That means he froze on the spot for a moment. I like this though. Building tension. Sense of drama. Tater at his best. Will he get on the moped or not? Whispered the teacher to his class. So Mr. Snot is still thinking that Elfie and, and Winnie are acting. Suddenly, Elfie pushed a chair into the path of the moped and fled out of the room. So he ran out of the room. Winnie swiveled around it. It, it in hot pursuit. That means he went to chase um, chase uh, Alfie. Let's go where the impro takes us. Come on, my actors. This is impro on the move. So Mr. Snot told his pupils, Come on, let's go. This is acting on the move. That means acting that's moving along. With that, Snot stood, punched his fist in the air triumphantly. That means like a winner, like yay. Then and let his utterly bemoose. That means his the students who are very shocked out of the room. They chased after Winnie, who chased after Alfie as he ran back down the corridor. The boy turned the corner and ran smack into his headmaster coming the other way. So he ran into his, he bumped into his headmaster. Let's go. Now, come on. <coughs> now, come on, said Mr. Gray. Remember his headmaster, Mr. Gray, the useless headmaster? trying his hardest to sound authoritative. That means Mr. Gray is trying his hardest to sound like he has power as a principal. But failing, he failed. What does this sign say? Toilets? Offered up Alfred. The other one? Oh, no running in the corridor, sir. Thank you. You nearly knocked me clean over. Sorry, sir. You could have had someone's eyes out. Elfie wasn't sure this was true. Teachers tended to say this a lot. So teachers always say you could have someone's eyes out. In their minds, just about anything. A stray football. So usually when, when there was a stray football, there was a football uh, uh, rolling rolling um, anywhere, they'll say you could have your eyes out or a bag left in the wrong place. So when suddenly leave a bag in the wrong place, the teacher will say you, you, could have let, uh, uh, you could have your eyes out by leaving your bag in the wrong place or even late homework. So could have an eye. So even late homework could have an eye out. However, this wasn't the time to argue. Yes, of course. Sorry, sir. Argued Alfie. Now be on your way, boy, said the headmaster. A proud smile, so that the principal felt very proud, spread across his face. At last, he had done something. Headmaster Richly. So, Headmaster Richly is a made up word. So, why, why, he felt that, why he felt very proud is because Alfie listened to the headmaster. Because no one always lis no one listens to the headmaster, right? But he, he, he saw that Alfie was listening to the headmaster and so he felt very proud like, Yay, I'm finally a good headmaster. Thank you, sir. Alfie walked off as quickly as he could without breaking into a run, without running. Mr. Gray straightened his grey tie, combed his finger through his grey hair and continued on his way with a renewed sense of self-importance. So now he felt very important. Like, finally, I'm a headmaster. Finally, people listen to me. However, as he turned the corner, he screamed, Ah! Winnie was flying towards the headmaster on her moped. Out of the way, you fool! She shouted. Just in time, Mr. Gray leaped against the wall. 
Excuse me, madam, the headmaster called after her. No riding of mopeds or any kind of two-wheeled motor vehicles in school corridors, please. Winnie didn't look back. She barely heard him. Such was the roar of the engine. So her moped engine was, 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 was very loud, so she couldn't hear the headmaster at all. The headmaster stood and watched Winnie disappear off down the corridor, shaking his head and and tutting to himself. So, just now Alfie listened to the headmaster, but now the, the headmaster realized that Winnie didn't listen to the headmaster. Just then he was knocked over by the drama teacher and run over by 30 of his pupils. As Mr. Snoot passed, he commented, very powerful, trembled, underfoot acting headmaster. Huge congrats. So, Mr. Snoot also think that the headmaster is acting. So, the headmaster the headmaster was run over, right? So he said, wow, very good headmaster. You are acting as a trembled underfoot acting headmaster. Huge congrats. Okay, the end.